Hi, Jeff here with Corsair's Applications Group. Uh, today we're going to take you through an installation of our Hydro Series H50 CPU cooler uh, onto a motherboard inside of our, our Obsidian Series 800D case. Um, the H50 is an all-in-one cooling solution for the CPU which supports all the latest CPU sockets on the market. Uh, you've got the Intel 1156, 775, 1366 and both AM2 and AM3 brackets. Um, so without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get this H50 installed. So here we've laid out everything that comes in the box with the H50. Uh, over here you've got some quick start guides uh, which will show you how to prepare each bracket for the type of socket that you're going to be using it for. Uh, you've got the H50 unit itself, uh, the fan which will mount on the H50 radiator using these screws, and then you've got the Intel bracket set and the AMD bracket set. Uh, both sets will use the same screws and the same metal inserts in the back plate. Uh, where they differ is they have different uh, plastic bushings, so keep an eye out on the quick start guide to make sure you're using the right ones. And then obviously you've got a different back plate and bracket assembly for each one. The H50 comes with thermal interface material already applied to the CPU block. Uh, you can use a third party material if you'd like. Uh, but the good thing about the one that we use is that it takes no time to cure, while others may take a couple days or up to a week uh, to fully cure and give you the best performance. So now that we've kind of laid out all the uh, materials that come in the box, we'll get our bracket all set for installation on our motherboard. One of the great features of the 800D case is that you have this large back door here with a cutout, uh, which gives you access to the back of the motherboard. So we'll be able to install our H50 uh, without having to remove the motherboard from the case. So the motherboard we're using is Intel based and uses the 1366 Intel socket. We've got our Intel backplate here, and you'll notice on each corner you've got three different holes. Uh, they correspond with each type of Intel socket, so you've got the 775, 1156, and the one that we're going to be using, the 1366. Uh, so you just kind of want to take your threaded metal inserts here, find the 1366 hole, and just push it right on through, like so, and follow suit on each different corner. Make sure that you find the correct 1366 labeled hole. So we found the 1366 slot on each corner, lined up the insert here. You just want to push them right in so they're fully locked into place. Like so. So we'll expose our adhesive strips here. It's going to help keep the back plate in place while we finish the rest of the installation. So just line up the inserts with the holes. So the 800D has a 140 millimeter fan in the rear here. We're not going to use that, so we'll just remove it. You've also got a rubber grommet here, which we will replace with a 120 millimeter grommet for the H50 fan. So the grommet helps prevent noise and vibration, so we'll install that in a moment. So on the top of the fan that comes with the H50, you'll notice that there's two arrows. One of them points in the direction of airflow. The other one points in the direction that the fan will spin. Uh, in this case, we just want to focus on the airflow. We want to have cool, fresh air blowing into the case from outside the case. We found that for the lowest CPU temperatures, you want to have the cool air blowing through the radiator, and that'll give you the best results. So we've got our fan, our grommet goes right on top here to go in between the case and the fan. Line it up with the holes on the back for the 120 millimeter fan. And you want to use the screws and washer that came with the H50 to hold the fan in place while we get ready to mount the radiator. So the next step is to uh, connect the radiator to the fan. We'll just line up the holes. You can actually mount the radiator with the hoses at the top, like we're doing here, or at the bottom, whatever's most convenient for you. And now that it's mounted in place, it'll be really easy to mount the last two screws. Just line them up and screw them in.
So now we're ready to prepare the top part of our mounting bracket. Uh, with the help of the quick start guide here, make sure you have the right quick start guide for the socket that we're going to be using. Ours is the 1366 here. Uh, you want to make sure you have the correct hardware. There's a set of screws and bushings uh, that are proprietary to either Intel or AMD sockets. Uh, right here we've got all the Intel screws and bushings, so we're good to go. Each plastic bushing has a tab on one side, so depending on the socket, you want to make sure you have that tab on the correct side for the bracket. Uh, for the 1366, it belongs on the inside, and it should just snap right into place here. So the next step in preparing the bracket is to get the screws mounted in it. Uh, you want to use the outside hole in each bushing if you're using the 1366 bracket. Uh, you want to just hand tighten it through the hole until it's slightly sticking out the bottom here. So on the back side of our bracket here, we left the screws slightly protruding from the plastic bushing. Uh, the reason for that is so that you can easily line it up with the back plate, uh, which we installed earlier. So now we want to screw in the screws, but just enough so that it starts to thread the back plate. You don't want to screw it all the way in just yet. So we've got our bracket in place. The next step is to mount the H50 pump here on top of the CPU. Best way to do it that I've found is to, with one hand, pull the bracket up so that it's flush with the heads of the screws and that'll give you enough space uh, to mount the H50. You just want to slide it through and it'll lock into place with the teeth there. And then you want to just tighten the screws the rest of the way and you should be all set. So now that everything's installed, all that's left is to plug in our pump and our fan. Uh, we'll plug the fan into the CPU fan header over here, and the pump into this header by the PCIe slot. You can use whatever headers are most convenient on your particular board, but the one thing to make sure of is you want to make sure that the pump is getting full power. A lot of motherboards will give you the option to throttle the uh, power that goes to these fan headers uh, so that you can modulate the RPM of the fan. But in this case you want the pump running at full blast to give you the uh, best overall performance. So we've got the H50 installed in our system. Hopefully we've shown you how quick and easy it is to install the H50 in your own system. Uh, if you'd like more product information, check out our website at www.corsair.com uh, or if you'd like to leave us some feedback or ask any questions, check out our forum at uh, www.ramguy.com.